group executive director. My role is to oversee the subsidiaries of equity group. I look after the businesses in Uganda, Tanzania, DRC, Rwanda, South Sudan, assisting the group in terms of leadership and governance. I'm a lawyer by training. I qualified about 29 years ago as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya and practice law in a private uh, legal capacity for about 14 years. Then in 2004, the bank offered me an opportunity to serve and I joined the bank uh, as legal services manager. My first role was to set up the legal department because equity was still a building society at that time. After that, it's been really a journey, a very exciting journey as an equity bank and now as equity group. I am a lawyer by training, but I took it upon myself to learn what is banking, to understand the business model of the bank, to understand finance, to interpret financial reports and financial statements. The most tough moment was um, just after we converted to a bank and then we listed on, uh, on the uh, Nairobi Stock Exchange. There were so many perceptions in the market and we needed to push out the information, the correct information, who is equity? Because people are asking, this new company that has come on the stock exchange, who is it? And uh, we had to do a lot of work and we were able to do that successfully. Within um, a year of listing, equity had become the second largest company on the stock exchange. One of my, my biggest mentors has actually been the group CEO, Dr. James Mwangi. He tells you as it is, and he will tell you when you're doing the right thing, and he will also give you another opinion or a different opinion if he thinks things can be done differently. He's not afraid to tell you that that is the role of a good mentor. I've also had mentors who I don't interact with personally, but I follow. I follow inspirational writers and uh, speakers like Robin Sharma. I've taken a lot of their lessons. I've read most of his books, including The Leader Without Title. I've read The 5AM Club. I read The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. I've read Jim Collins, Built to Last. What we have to do is to look out for mentors. And they could be also people who are not even alive today. They could have passed on but they left a legacy. We only pick the lessons which we think can work for us. You bring different perspectives to the business and you bring a different ways of thinking to the business. You also bring the soft side to the business. The soft does not mean that it's not a strict side because you can be strict but also do it in a very soft and harmonious way. Using my own example, I can say that businesses can be able to benefit from the skills around and be able to bring up the women in the businesses so that they can also take positions of responsibility. In this bank, uh, women have done an extremely good job with the right attitude, focus, passion and a lot of enthusiasm and love for the business, they have been able to rise through the ranks as women. Sit at the table, do not sit at the periphery. Be where the decisions are being made. What will get you to where you want to get is really getting to do something and doing it very well with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Equip yourself with a lot of knowledge. If you have knowledge, then you have power and you can be able to run past everybody else. Once you have the knowledge, have the confidence to go for it. The fear of God, the being that we believe is ultimately in power. We must always respect that being to guide us and to give us the strength that we need, especially when things are very tough. I've thought a lot about my position, being so proud of what I've become in this bank, and I've thought that the way of giving back is actually to mentor others. We become stronger by lifting others up. So I made a commitment myself to lift others up, the other young women, 
uh, who are in the business. I will focus my energies and my knowledge, uh, what I know, to mentor them uh, so that they can become what they really want to become. They can meet their aspirations. They strength in numbers. We can support each other.